Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. And today I wanted to look at two of the interesting and slightly less common ways of using the case statement within SQL. So in one query, we'll be looking at implementing a custom query result sort order and query two using case statements to update a bonus column and how we can also prevent changes with rollback. So I've got some sample data here, as you can see, just to note some senior managers. Uh, but for a first example, we don't really have a way uh, of knowing how to sort this as standard because we have, um, you know, we have founders, the department ID, there's no logical. If we want to view this from a top down view, um, there is no real logical way that this is defined as standard. Um, in the salary, you can see the founder has an NA um, and the country manager actually has a higher salary without a bonus. So it'd be difficult to sort this without a custom uh, sort. So we're going to look at how we can do that using the case statement. So we can select some columns um, from the senior managers. So from that table, so we can just use the concat with separator function um, where we just essentially join together the first name, the last name, and specify our separator as a space. And we'll just take the job title and salary. So as you can see, again, if I was to sort this, we don't have a, have a clear order from the top down. So what we're going to do is pull this down um, and within our order by, we can actually sort um, the, the specified order that we'd like to, to see this. Um, in, in a conceptual view of the business where we have the most senior position appearing at the top. Now we can do this using case um, and wildcards with a like operator. So we can use some pattern matching here uh, with the case, case statement specify order purely based on numeric values. So we have a fairly good way of knowing how this should be ordered from a top down view. Um, because anything with chief as in chief executive order should be at the top, then global managers, then hemisphere. So we can just specify um, wildcards where the percentage just matches the pattern and it denotes zero to however many characters after that. So we just need the initial part um, of that job title. And as you can see, it specifies the correct order because our founder in this instance uh, doesn't really have an operational day-to-day -day role. So they would appear at the bottom. Um, but what we could do as well, as you can see, we've specified an order based on numeric integer values. Um, we could also uh, place this in descending order and you could see the uh, the the roles from, from the bottom up almost in terms of the senior management um, responsibility. So that's very helpful. And it's 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 outside of the usual sort of case statement, um, text replacements, creating new columns within our query results um, or sort of a string searching. Now we can actually use case again to update our bonus column. So we could combine a transaction um, with rollback to ensure data integrity um, when potentially updating uh, bonus values. So we could use case to conditionally update where the bonus is currently under 2000 then we give everyone let's say the company would give everyone a bonus of 2000 maybe that's due to good performance now this transaction ensures that if anything fails the whole uh, the whole transaction would fail if any of these updates fail so we can actually add in rollback um, just so that we don't actually make any changes to our database. But you can see if we were to remove that, this would successfully add those bonuses where the else clause specified the regular bonus would stay, um, but anything else has a bonus of 2000 if it was under 2000, so zero um, in our case at the start. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.